Today we are in the Cherokee Lakes Campground in O'Fallon, Missouri, right outside of St. Louis. It's a nice little campground. When you come in, you pull in through here. Um, the office is right here. They have trash cans staged around the area. They have showers and restrooms. They have 50, 30, and 20 amp service. All of the sites are gravel. They have their own private lake that you're allowed to fish in. It is catch and release. They have a pavilion for picnics and stuff. Most of the people here seem to be uh, storing their RVs here full time. There's only a few sites available for rent. This is us right here on the right. And Paul and Vicky are over here on the left. There was plenty of room to pull in. There are a lot of dogs here, but most of the people have their dogs on a leash. Navigating around the uh, campground was pretty easy. The roads are fairly wide and they were smart enough where they really haven't stuck a lot of stuff at the, uh, the opening to the uh, sites. So you're really not fighting trees and rocks and stuff. There are a few rocks, but not very many. The sites aren't very big. There's a little bit of grass between them. And it was a pretty quiet campground. There's Canadian geese here this time. And there's some running around that have uh, a pair of them have five gosling. We did see a couple snakes. They look to be water snakes. Here's the uh, geese with their goslings. And we're getting hissed at by dad. They have a dog park. It wasn't open while we were here because they just put new uh, sod in it. Matter of fact, the whole thing looks new. It looks pretty good. The entrance we came in on is the one they want you to use for your RV. There is a secondary entrance for cars and stuff, but they do not want you to have your RV on it. look and you see that burn behind the white truck it goes all around and if you want to take your dog or you just want to go on a walk you get on the berm follow the trail all the way around and just staying on the berm and coming out over by the office it's half a mile this is where that secondary road is right here like it says no RVs All in all, it was a good stay here. Um, you're close to St. Louis. There's things to go down the St. Louis Arch. I will advise you if you go down there and you see the uh, river tour, the paddle boat ride, don't take it. It's a waste of money. They just take you up and down the river and basically what you see is a couple power companies, a couple bridges, a place where they load fertilizer, stuff like that. Save your money for something good. The Arch though is well worth the money to go through it is the united states smallest national park 
and it has a museum attached to it that could take you all day to go through it has a gift store of course and it has a restaurant and your dogs are welcome on the park grounds and this is Cherokee Lakes thanks for watching see you on the next one this has been a Romeo production